Pro-inflammatory cytokines are a type of signaling molecule that is secreted from immune cells such as T helper cells and macrophages to promote inflammation. During bacterial invasion of the tissue, when you have an infection, your tissue macrophage immune cells detect the presence of these foreign invaders. This begins various cell signaling processes. Your macrophages release several pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukin-1-beta, interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha. These cytokines signal to the endothelial to become active, and the endothelial cells then start to express adhesion molecules such as ICAN-1. ICAN-1 attracts neutrophils passing along in the blood plasma. The endothelial cells become stickier and the neutrophils begin rolling in a chemotactic gradient towards the site of infection. The blood vessel gets much leakier and they dilate as the smooth muscle surrounding it relaxes, allowing the neutrophils to infiltrate the tissue. Then they phagocytose the bacteria, breaking them down in their phagolysosomes with lysosomal enzymes. All cytokines are secreted in response to bacterial PAMPs, which stand for pathogen associated molecular patterns, being recognised and binding to immune cells PRRs, which stand for pattern recognition receptors. Interleukin 1 beta is a pro inflammatory cytokine released by monocytes and macrophages that causes fever and pain. Interleukin 6 is another pro inflammatory cytokine that is released by T helper 1 cells and macrophages, and this cytokine causes fever, acute phase protein release, and it also plays a role in the neuronal pain reaction to the peripheral nerve injury. Interferon gamma is secreted by lymphocytes and it acts as a macrophage activating factor as well as proliferating T helper 1 cells through positive feedback mechanisms. TNF alpha is secreted by monocytes and other immune cells. It causes fever and pain and it also signals through the NF kappa V pathway. TNF alpha binds to its receptor, leading to the synthesis of proteins that increase the production of nitric oxide, an important gaseous signaling molecule that causes vasodilation. Continued cytokine production eventually leads to a cytokine storm. In the kidney, the cytokines affect the renal potassium channels, changing the transport of solutes and water in this organ. In patients with cystic fibrosis, pro-inflammatory cytokines cause hyperinflammation, leading to lung tissue destruction. Finally, in patients with cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis induces endothelial dysfunction through recruitment of pro-inflammatory cytokines.